Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Today I want to share with you guys something very groundbreaking. I've made a lot of videos in the past on my channel about glitches and bugs and issues, things of that nature, screwing up the game in some way or becoming some sort of inconvenience. I've finally come up with a very easy, solid, foolproof solution with regards to how to break Minecraft. So the crux of all of this comes from the world options. So let me go to the customizability settings. And the magic comes from the sea level. So thank you to everyone in the comments, uh, the people who tweeted at me. I have done some experimentation and it is in fact the sea level that will break Minecraft. For whatever reason, the sea level happens to be independent from every other setting here. So in order to break this value, you need to go to the presets and just uh, clicking to the left here, several times, you will see the uh, the sea level setting. So over here, what you want to do is make this negative one, all right? So use the preset, it doesn't matter. Everything else can be the default setting. As long as you change the sea level to negative one, the game will not load. So let's wait for a second. You can see nothing happens. So here the Minecraft client is trying to generate some chunks. It's waiting for chunks. However, nothing's ever going to happen. You can reload chunks. A lot of people have been suggesting, oh, just go do F3A. Um, if you haven't watched my last video about the negative world settings, you can click on that video. It will not refresh something Minecraft doesn't believe is there. So I looked at the logs. Uh, Minecraft doesn't think anything is wrong right now. The game will feel like it's running properly. As you can see, there's no lag. Nothing is changing. Uh, if you put up the sound um, or you go near some mobs or you set the weather to rain, it will actually function. So weather, rain, it will rain. Nothing is wrong. Minecraft thinks everything is fine. So um, that being said, uh, what you can do to refresh everything, make everything appear, is go to MC Edit or use an NBT Explorer, which I'll go through in a minute. But just to prove this thought just a little bit more, you can go to TP050. So right now you are presumably inside a cave. And if you summon uh, a prime TNT, like so, make it about 100 and fuse not ruse. Dang it. Fuse. Zero. So a pretty significant explosion. You can see something happened there. I don't know. Maybe there was another creeper. Um, perhaps not. So let's close this out. Let me go into MC Edit and share with you my thought. New world. And you can see the fairly large... Yeah, there's a lot of lava. Those are the, uh, the particles you saw. There's some diamonds too. But you can see the player's position is literally right here inside a cave. And in-game, you can't see anything, but within MC Edit, you can. Now, using MC Edit and uh, MBT Explorer, you can actually refresh the world. You can restore its functionality by simply changing the game's uh, world generation settings. So you can do that with MC Edit. You can do it dynamically with MBT Explorer as well. I will leave some download links in the description if you really want to try this out. Um, but please don't use this to you know mess with your friends because you could really mess up more than just the world here aka your friendship with your friends. So let's go with the level.dat data and within the settings you can change the generation options, view the C level here and actually change it back to 63 which is the default uh, C level. So you can save this and back into Minecraft once you open your world again everything will be restored after a bit of time. Looks like I actually was within Extreme Hills, that's why you can see the silverfish. So viewing outside of the uh, the Extreme Hills, you can see that there is actually water now. There is a sea level at 63. Um, you can see it better represented over there. So it's not as if it was negative one at all. In fact, it will assume that the sea level was never generated in the first place. That's why the chunks never loaded. It's independent of every other um, world setting. So uh, like ore generation, uh, some scaling or noise but it appears as though the sea level is now back to default. Now, how do you break this? Let's assume that you have a Minecraft world and you want to mess with it in some way or create a boundary. If you really want to prank your friends, but I will not be held responsible for what's outside the scope of Minecraft. So what you can do now is go back to MBT Explorer or MC Edit. both will be fine. Um, let's go over to level.dat, data, and let's go back to this. So you've got to find sea level right here. Change it back to a negative value, click save, close, and let's go back into Minecraft. So now we have the world generating again. Now, this is where things get a little bit crazy. 
Minecraft will break as soon as you try and generate some new chunks. In fact, it'll look really glitchy like this, okay? The mobs will still be there. It's as if they're floating. But you can see Minecraft is really trying here. They're tr it's trying to understand what sea level negative one really means. In fact, it's as if this place is now an entity. And if you go outside of Minecraft, your world will disappear. Okay, so this is exactly what's happened when you try to generate the world in the first place with a sea level of negative one. Um, there is a world. That's the bottom line, because you can still edit blocks, you can still summon things in, but it's not rendering. So as soon as you change the settings back, you can see some particles in the distance. Uh, if you change it back, it will disappear. You can load it back like this, but it's very outlandish. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you found this kind of interesting, you can try it out on your friends. Leave a like if you enjoy videos like this, um, where I you know try to mess with Minecraft in ways you probably cannot really fathom, uh, ways I can't even fathom, but it's very intriguing uh, doing things like this. Now, I don't know how Minecraft World Generation really works in its intricacies, but you can see the results like this. It's definitely something that is very interesting to, to look into. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Take care.